the basics of mana rocks and commander we have to start with soul ring it's affordable obtainable dependable and defines the format you should get it and you should run it past soul ring there are more powerful mana rocks but they're more expensive to obtain and they start leaning heavier into competitive play mana crypt and chrome mox are up there in the excellent tier the downside to mana crypt is potential life loss but that's negligible and chrome mox the downside is you're exiling a card from your hand to set the color of the mox but also negligible you've also sort of got mana vault in this category but the drawback of tapping more mana to untap this is kind of big after those your most playable mana rocks or the signets, you're basically paying two mana once to play an extra land. Velwar Stone's sort of in this category and presents a slight gamble. Mind Stone also lives in this realm as a colorless only mana, but it can sack to draw a card later. After that, you've got your talismans, you're basically paying two mana once for a pain land. Then you've got the diamonds, you're paying two mana for a slow land or an enters the battlefield tapped land. And when you start getting into three cost rocks, you're looking for good abilities as well, like perfect mana from Chromatic Lantern. I'm legally required by Jake to tell you that Thran Dynamo exists.